What about painting your nails with glue? Or putting on hairspray? Or even turn your nail design into a modern art sample? Watch this video to know our secret hacks of beautiful nails. My friend is doing her nails. Meanwhile, I need glue. I take the stick, but there's a fragrant sponge instead of glue. Is it her manicure trick? Pour two spoons of apricot kernel oil into a cup. Add 10 drops of lavender oil and 10 drops of lemon oil. Cut off the abrasive part of a sponge. Cut down the sponge across the length. Snip off the corners. Shape it like a cylinder. Trim the sponge stick to fit the glue tube. Make a hole inside to let the sponge hold tight. Put the sponge into the tube. Pour oil in small portions. Close the stick. My friend applies the fragrant glue to her cuticle and the skin around her nail. It won't certainly unglue. Oil makes your skin soft and strengthens your nail plate. This time, I take regular glue. My friend takes a brush and puts the clear glue to her nails. What a strange choice. If you don't have clear nail polish on hand, use clear stationary glue. Pour the glue into a cup. Dip a brush into the glue and apply it onto your nails in the usual way. When dry, it turns into a thin film. It looks like a clear polished coat. But when you wash your hands, you'll wash it off as well. Is your French not perfect? If you mean the language, get to your French classes. But if it comes to your nails, inflate a balloon. Why? Find the answer in the next hack. Cut a balloon into thin strips. Wrap one around your nail, leaving a free edge. Apply white polish. Carefully remove the strip. You've got a traditional white, French-free edge. If your hand shakes accidentally and you get an untidy edge, our superhero brush will rush to help you. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nope, it's Super Brush. Dip your Slope Eyeliner Brush in acetone-based nail polish remover. Correct the mistakes. Cover your nail with a clear finishing coat. Thank you, my super brush. You're a real hero. My friend has a lot of beauty stuff. Today, she chooses a comb and a color hairspray. It's always a challenge to manage hairstyling. She needs my help. I take her color hairspray and start putting it on my nails. Why shouldn't I do that? Anything will do for my impeccable appearance, but my friend doesn't like it at all. She thinks hairspray can be applied only when it comes to hair. Put color hairspray on your nails. Don't worry if it gets on your skin around it. It'll disappear as soon as you wash your hands. Be sure to put down some cover for protecting the tabletop. Keep spraying your nails until you're satisfied with the color. Put a regular hairspray coat on top to fasten the color coat. It works both for your hairstyle and your nails. Apply clear nail polish as a finishing coat. Let it dry. Wash off your avatar skin under the running water. My nails with blue hairspray on them look beautiful and fantastic. A neat and quick manicure of the future. Are you tired of a glossy top coat? Get a trendy matte one without visiting a nail salon. Sift cornstarch. Put it into your clear nail polish. Mix it well. The matte nail base with a natural component is ready. Apply nail polish of some dark color. Leave your ring finger unpainted. Apply a starch coat on top. The color turns matte immediately. Let it dry. However, your nails don't remain dry for a long time because a weather forecast calls for rain. Nail polish resists water so that it flows down your nails. Just tiny drops remain on top. The glossy drops on the matte background inspired me to create a new nail design. Let's make a rainy manicure. Apply clear polish drops on top. When dry, we've got an awesome 3D nail art design. No, we don't have to worry about the rain. Do you think soap bubbles make the most entertaining stuff? Let's create a soft and light nail art design. Start by painting your nails white. Take a Q-tip. We'll use it to imitate soap bubbles. Squeeze a few drops of different acrylic paints onto a palette. Mix them with water. Apply color drops with a brush. Take a Q-tip and dab the drop to get a bubble outline. 
Repeat for the others. You can apply the drops so that they partially cover each other. Finish the design with a clear polished coat. Let your mood be as light and airy as your nail design. Sometimes, a traditional beauty product can be used for making your nail design a unique one. Paint your nails mint. Apply the starch matte top coat. Take pearl eyeshadow of the matching turquoise shade. Take it with an applicator and rub it into the polish. Apply clear or matte nail polish on top. Remove the excess eyeshadow from your skin with a Q-tip. This is the way your eyeshadow can substitute for trendy holographic powder. And now I'm going to show you my secret weapon in the struggle for a creative nail design. Use unusual stuff. Take a thin silicone stick. Pair it with a pencil sharpener. Cut off the excess. It has a thin, dull tip. Paint your nails red. Dip the paired tip into white nail polish. Stamp it on your nail to make a line of tiny white spots. Apply pearl drops to volumize the pattern. It was my pearl necklace that inspired me to create such a gorgeous design. I feel like a real aristocrat. My friend is getting ready for her painting exhibition. I've noticed her fan brush. It's a real treasure. I can use it for my next nail design. My friend will understand why I need it so much when she sees what a beauty it'll create. We've put clear glue on the cuticle and the skin around in advance. Pour nail polish onto a flat surface. Dip the fan brush into the polish. Move it from one side to the other to create an abstract pattern on your nail. Carefully remove the dry glue with the polish traces from your skin. Use tweezers. Apply a clear coat on top. Sometimes a properly chosen brush can create a real masterpiece of modern art. Should I open my own personal nail exhibition? If we talk about art, we should emphasize that nail art is art indeed. You can create true modern images on your nails. Apply a thick coat of clear polish to a flat surface. A piece of plastic will do. Take dark stamping polish and an image plate. Paint the chosen image. Spread the polish with a scraper. Take a stamper and press it to pick up the image. Carefully stamp it on top of the clear polish base. Color the image with the regular nail polishes. Let it dry. Cover the picture with a top coat. When dry, it creates a thin film with a glass painting image inside. Carefully remove the film with the tweezers. Cover the white colored nail with clear polish. Attach the film upside down to get an even top. Smooth the edges. Cut off the excess. Correct the mistakes with a brush dipped in the remover. Cover it with a top coat. Let's create another design. Put a thick white polished coat on the plastic. Apply color drops. Move a sharp wooden stick randomly to make an intricate pattern. I can keep watching it forever. Attach it to your nail in the same way. Clean the skin around it with a brush dipped in the remover. This smart abstract nail art design can be the envy of artists. Are you going to invent a new form of art? Has your nail file become blunted? We've got an idea. Sandpaper is just what you need. Take a piece of fine sandpaper. Attach a piece of double-sided tape. Tape the sandpaper to your nail file. Follow the outline to cut off the excess. The sandpaper coat will let your favorite nail file work longer. What do your hairstyle and your nails have in common, not counting the time spent on both? A bobby pin. Paint your nails red. We'll need yellow and deep purple nail polishes. Let's make flowers. Now let's use a brush, not the bristles, but the handle. Dip the handle tip into the purple polish and paint petals. Define the flower core again. Change the colors to make another flower on your ring finger. My flowers look like a real nail art masterpiece. It's a new technique, a floral design made with a handle brush and a bobby pin. Astronomy is my favorite subject. I love drawing stars and the moon, but what about painting it on your lunula? It sounds like a great idea from the internet. Let's try it using a pencil. Cut off a half of the eraser on a pencil end. Take our super brush, dip it into white nail polish, make a French edge. Dip the eraser into the white nail polish, stamp it on your lunula. 
Something's wrong. It's smudged and the edges are uneven. It doesn't look the least bit like the picture from the internet. I'll have to remove it. Today, your moon landings failed. It's just more proof that not every internet idea works properly. Let's make a portable nail polish remover. Put cotton pads into a clean jar. Pour in your nail polish remover. You'll be able to remove your nail polish even when you're on a trip. Just take a soaked cotton pad out from the jar. It's easy and practical. Did you like the nail hack compilation? Write in the comments which hacks you're going to use for keeping your nails neat. Are you going to put on hairspray or rub in your eyeshadow or paint soap bubbles with a Q-tip? Anyway, we are sure you'll get a real masterpiece. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell so you don't miss our new awesome life hacks.